Uh, one of the things that uh, you recommend people to do that we talked about in the last episode is uh, taping our mouth when we sleep. Yeah. And uh, since I met you, I've been doing it for a year and uh, or more than that. And it's really, really nice, actually. It feels really good when I wake up with more energy and yeah, mm-hmm. everything feels better, actually. Mm-hmm. So um, I also stopped snoring. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I've been telling my mom to do this for a while. Mm-hmm. And she uh, she stopped snoring as well. She did awesome. it one month ago awesome. and uh, her husband could move back to her, her room because she wasn't snoring anymore. So th- thank you for that. You're and uh, that's amazing. So, so why do we snore? And you said before we started interview that it's not only because they breathe with their mouth. But yeah, explain a little bit the snoring mechanism. Yeah, the snoring. I mean, the sound is made because the airways are narrow. If the airways are free, there will be no snoring sound. So, so that's uh, to start with. And when you inhale through the mouth, you then get this dry. Um, cold air full of bacteria and that makes the airways irritated and when they get irritated they get inflamed and they get swollen so basically you uh, create more narrow airways so uh, when you have a narrow passage the increase the risk of snoring so mouth breathing is one reason why we snore another reason could be that we have um, tense muscles in, in the throat area or that we have an underdeveloped jaw um, that is not developed as it's supposed to, which is uh, forward and in width. Mm-hmm. And um, then it also affects, th- that's really the bottleneck, the, the throat area for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. So um, taping the mouth at night, a lot of people confirm um, your mom's uh, story. They tape the mouth and they stop snoring and they sleep much better and they um, are very happy about it. Mm. So that could be the first step, but it could also be that you need to improve your breathing habits uh, during daytime. Mm. Yeah. So you said it's better to breathe through the nose than through the mouth. And uh, if we tape our mouth, if you sleep seven, eight hours, that's like one third of the day. So for the rest of the day, how can we get more conscious on this? And how can we train ourselves to breathe more through the nose? and use this in a relaxing way yeah I mean I see there are a couple of things the awareness for one thing ah right the nose is supposed I'm supposed to use it Mm -hmm. just that knowledge Mm -hmm. and then uh, the um, understanding why it is important already there I think you have uh, gained a lot Um, but I suggest, for example, to some people that are chronic mouth breathers, they have really a problem to close their mouth. And uh, I could then suggest to them to tape their mouth uh, even uh, during daytime. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe not on the subway or at work, <laughs> but when, when, when convenient. Yeah. So when, I talk, when they come home, maybe, if, or if they watch a movie at home, for example, yeah. they can tape their mouth. Yeah. 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 But most people uh, don't have that problem. So the awareness, the understanding of why it's important and to, you know, take it easy. If you want to change the habit, you have to take it step by step and uh, have the long term perspective. The short term, the quick fix, well, that's a fine, but preferably if you want to embark on a breathing journey and improve your breathing, you, you should have the long term perspective and, and the patience and endurance and mm. yeah no uh, I think uh, with my mom uh, she was a bit scared taping her mouth every night yeah. so what I told her why don't she, she normally takes a power nap in the afternoon mm-hmm. like a 20 minutes or maybe a little bit even longer in the afternoon so I, so I told her why don't you try doing your power nap and then she tried and she felt comfortable and then she could take the next step and do it overnight because it can be quite scary in the beginning it was oh, the same yeah. for me I ripped it off in the first couple of nights you know yes so indeed no mm. that's quite common oh my god taping my mouth I yeah. will die yeah. and then of course I do not recommend anyone to tape because the whole idea with conscious breathing is to help you reduce your stress and not <laughs> increase it mm. so if you feel a bit scared and I suggest, just as you suggested to your mom, to tape uh, like 10-15 minutes during daytime yeah. uh, for a few days to get used to the sensation. Yeah. Yeah. And since you started recommended taping your mouth, uh, how many people have died 
sleeping with tape? Yeah, good question. <laughs> no one have called actually and said that. But, yeah. but, uh, <laughs> you no. have to think about the answer. I was no, hoping but, but it would be zero like immediately. Ser <laughs> seriously, uh, of course, uh, we have this extremely strong survival mechanism. Yeah. I mean, if our breath is threatened, all the uh, stress systems in our body are on total red alert. Mm. So there is not a chance that we will not wake up and... Um, remove our tape yeah that, that's what happened to me in the beginning yeah that when i uh, yeah i could wake up in the, but there was no problem i just woke up ripped it off and then i kept on sleeping so it wasn't any problem and then after a couple of days i got used to it and yeah. slept the whole night and woke up with more energy basically right than before so. so an interesting thing i participated in a study at stanford university in um, usa last year and we did for 10 days we blocked our nose so we were only breathing through our mouth it was quite an awful experience so we <sighs> we we did try to live a normal life but the thing that had most negative effect was the sleep so we measured a number of things um, including filming ourselves while sleeping so and we also measured the sound while sleeping and uh, I woke up four, five, six times every night. The, the first night, the first time, first day already. Yeah, already the first yeah. night. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was dry like a desert in my mouth. And uh, the snoring, I snored on average during these 10 days, uh, 10 nights, three hours per night. Oh, wow. And so we did it for 10 days and then we... Um, removed the blockage and uh, instead applied conscious breathing for 10 days including taping our uh, mouth at night and it was just like turning a hand i can still uh, clearly remember the, the first morning i woke up with uh, with the tape on my mouth i was i was just so happy i couldn't <laughs> stop smiling couldn't stop singing and the energy was yeah it was super high and the snoring during these 10 days with conscious breathing and tape mouth was practically zero. Oh, wow. So it went from three hours to uh, yeah. almost zero. But what else did you measure? Like, did you measure things in your body? And we measured uh, carbon dioxide. We, me we did um, things. We took samples from our nose. We did um, uh, CT scan. We did mm -hmm. smell test. We did... Uh, uh, standing on one leg that was quite amazing how our balance um, got much worse with mouth breathing mm -hmm. for one minute standing on one leg I had to and, and with my eyes closed I had to put down my other foot I think on average seven times with my mouth open and only one time or almost yeah, less than one time with my mouth closed. That's so interesting. So it affects the balance even. It is, yeah. <laughs> and, and I remember during that study, one time I, during these 10 days with uh, my um, uh, nose um, blocked, I went out for a walk and exaggerated the breathing. So I was breathing uh, one breath with every step, big breaths. And I did that for, I think, 1,000 steps. Mm. And... After a few minutes, my balance was, I felt like I was drunk. It was amazing to feel that. And, and I got stiff and I, I had to, I walk wider just to keep the balance. Um, wow. So yeah, there you go. The, the effects of mouth breathing is, <laughs> yeah. And the, the thing I like about taping your mouth overnight is that uh, if you're saying you do 20, 20 to 20,000 breath, a day mm -hmm. that uh, you already take care of eight hours and it's so easy yeah. you know like for example i'm into mental training and mental training we know that everyone that goes through the mental training feels better but the problem is it takes six months and you need to do it every day and not many are doing that not many are willing to do that yeah. but taping your mouth doesn't take any extra time it's so easy so everyone yeah. should do it i agree i mean as soon as you get over this mental or blockage or the fear it's just three seconds or what, what does it take to apply the tape? Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah. It's there's no, that's the easiest life factor is, <laughs> I think. Yeah, to, I to agree. Improve your yeah. Life.